What is going on, guys? Kid Dog's Kennel coming at you here in the Pharaohs. And what we're going to do is we... We're going to go back up to the first floor so I can kind of show you guys how to, to do this here. We're going to hunt the Seer. And this one is... It's not difficult more than it's just kind of a pain in the esophagus. So, after completing the Pharaohs in the main story... Um, you have the option to take this elevator down, okay? Now, I've done this, this off stream, um, but what you have is you ha you start off with uh, Penumbra, okay? And we're going to go down there just so I can show you guys what to do. Once you come down here... you're going to do is come down here. There's going to be a shit ton of enemies down here. So be uh, sure that you're well prepared. And what you're going to do is there's a crap ton of enemies down here, so just be prepared. Is you're going to be, you're going to go into these rooms. There's four rooms. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to go uh, in here. There is uh, a pedestal of night in each room, okay? And basically what you need to do is you need to collect black orbs from enemies and come to these pedestal of nights and basically fill the, the pedestals with orbs until the room lights up, okay? So, like, for example, this one, um, there's nine set, which fully lights it up. Okay. Now, how do you get black orbs, you might ask? Well, very simply put, you kill enemies to get black orbs. Like so. Boom. Nice. Well, level 97. Hell yeah. And see, there's black orbs will appear. Now, notice if you let the orb float away... Now watch. Now see, see. There's the orb there. Now watch. See how it how it glides away. Basically, what happens is um, if you follow the direction it flies away, you'll eventually run into a massive black orb, which you can get like a shit ton of orbs to speed this this process along. Okay. So once you do that for all four rooms. Okay. Then that will unlock the Umbra section, which is the same thing. You're going to have enemies. You're going to go into each four corner, put black orbs into the pedestal of night to illuminate the room. And then once you do that here, that will unlock the Abyssal section. Okay? And then that's your last section. You're going to do the same thing in those four rooms. Okay? Once you do all of that... It will then unlock. We're going to go back to the first floor. Just use the safe crystal to uh, heal up. And... Okay, so let's use the save crystal. Done. Alright, so when you do that for the Penumbra, Umbra, and Abyssal, you will get the Unknown, which is where the Seer is, okay? I'm going to just slow this down. So let's go down into the Unknown and fight the Shadow Seer. Alright, so here is the Shadow Seer. Now, he looks, I don't want to say simple enough, but you start off with just him. Foul flesh. Alright, and then once he takes enough damage, he will start spawning um, some very familiar enemies. Ah, it wishes 
to play. Arise, my servant. Arise. He will call forth Pandemonium, which is the giant rock turtle that we fought um, during our run to the, um, the Pharaohs. Pandemonium has nothing to steal. Okay, so we can just outright... Nope. Uh, actually, we need to change some gambits up a little bit. Because the Seer... Uh, we're going to do... Lowest HP. That way they should all attack Pandemonium. Shadow Seer is going to be casting the spells and shit, or casting all sorts of spells, but and now Pandemonium is immune to, to damage. That's great. With ribbons, this is a cakewalk. Just gotta wait for this paling to fall. Oh, actually, I forgot about this uh, invert. It inverts your hit points and your magic points. Stick with it. This paling will eventually fall. me all you want, buddy. It ain't gonna work. Alright. Nope. Yeah, based on the seer, you can't do anything to until all these minions are gone. And I do say all these minions because there's going to be a crap ton of them. You got Pandemonia, Slight, Fenrir, and uh, the optional Phoenix. Its life is strong. Arise, my servant. Arise. And here comes Slife. Okay, let's go after this guy. And Fran, you're going to be better off using uh, fire. Let's use some flare. Because Slife does not like fire. Alright, and... Bam. Wasted Slythe with some fire. It thinks to live, but no, no, arise, my servant, arise. So basically, we go through this, and there is Fenrir. So let's take out Fenrir. I don't think they have anything to steal this time around. Yeah, they have nothing to steal this time around, which is fine.
Down goes Fenrir. And last but not least, it has played enough. Yes. Arise, my servant, arise. This is Phoenix. Um, Phoenix, you may not have encountered, but he's on the uh, the penumbra floor as an optional boss. Gaith on this guy. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. He used, uh... again we're gonna just keep doing skate on this guy or on this thing or completely not I'll just get killed and Thing some more. Yeah. So this guy's not hard, he's just kind of a pain in the butt, but. more blast of uh, scathe should take this thing out. Uh, let's go one more scathe. And takes it down. It offends, it anchors. <laughs> so when he has no more servants, now you can actually fight him one on one. My servant gone. So much. It. Yeah, blah, blah. But anyway, now then he gets pissed off. And then it's just basically just go ham on the shadow seer. Gaith is my is my magic attack. Ow. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Almost gone. Almost there. And there he goes. Shadow Seer. Gone. Vanquished. When the uh, the hunt is done, then we uh, go back to um, first floor, and now we can't go back down in that room anymore. But there's literally no need to. 
So now we go back to Rabbit Nasser. Get our bounty from Montblanc. I should point out Montblanc is the petitioner for the Shadow Seer fight. So make sure you talk to him to make sure he um, spawns. So. Talk to him. Kupo. Kupo Po Po, you defeated the seer? Pardon the shadow seer? Astonishing. Never mind that never mind the house of it, Kupo. The ends justify the means. You're the pride of the clan, Kupo. To be honest, I don't think I ever see you again, but I sorely underestimated you. You've rightly earned your bounty and my congratulations. Well hunted. And we get a mere twenty thousand gill and two mega elixirs. It's another great, and then once we, what? Oh, you know why? Because we have one more hunt to do before the uh, the Yazimat hunt uh, comes available. So we will do that hunt in the uh, the next part, guys. It's going to be the Pile Raster. Um, so I will meet you guys in Balfenheim for the next hunt. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, will catch you guys in the next part. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel uh to not miss when i go live so i will catch you guys in the next part take care